Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz, thank you for stopping by. Today I have another unboxing for you, of course, because that's what I do. <laughs> I have the cutest Oracle deck. Um, it's BuzzFeed Oracle cards. I got them at, T um, sorry, Marshalls. They're $6.99, they may be at TJ Maxx because I believe they're the same owners. Um, they just look really cute. I haven't opened it up, but just skimmed through the book a little bit because it's got like one of these things where the book kind of just uh, is in this a little, little tiny book. Probably don't even really need the book for them. I did look them up on Amazon. They're $13 on there. They're still available. They're just a cute little, honestly, they'd be a great little stocking stuffer for a friend or kids or anything like that, you know, of appropriate age, of course. So I'm just going to pause the video and I will be back with the unboxing. Hang on. Okay. So like I said, I got it at Marshall's and I just couldn't resist. I could not resist. It's got this cute little book. The book does come out of this little sleeve thingy here and each little, there is a section for like different things. Uh, there's an introduction, nostalgia, colors, environment, animals. So we'll see what it looks like. There's a hundred cards, which I think is an awful lot of cards for a um, Oracle deck. But let's see, how do we, hmm. how do I, do I pull this out? How does this work? How does this, oh, okay, I'm missing something here. Do I pull it out this way? Okay, so the first thing is figuring out how to actually open it. Okay, that's, <laughs> I'm missing something here. What am I missing? Pull this off. I don't want to rip it. I hate ripping stuff like that. Oh my god. Why? Oh, there it goes. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. Okay, the back of it says, discover what your future holds. Uh, with this mystical set, including 100 oracle cards, and an illustrated guide book for modern day soul seekers, look for the meaning behind each card and you'll be on your way to predicting your future while gaining a deeper understanding of your past. Oh, I just realized I have my hair tie on my arm. Don't need that there. I'm probably going to tie my hair up as a matter of fact. All right, so it's a nice little box actually to keep the cards. I mean, it's just, it's a gimmicky thing, okay? I ain't gonna lie. It is a gimmicky thing. But you know, even gimmicky things sometimes have some value. Hang on, I'm just gonna have a sip of my coffee. <sighs> Let's see. Animals. Starts with the animals. Look at the back of the cards. They're so cool. They remind me of the 80s. They remind me of the 80s. And of course, I can't. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna move the camera a teeny bit because I gotta get my scissors that I always forget. Let's see. I always forget. Okay, it's got black on the outside. I actually have two decks coming, you guys. They're from Poland. Um, they look amazing. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but I don't even know when I'm going to get them because, you know, with everything being stuck in containers and everywhere, who knows? But when they when I get them, they will be so cool. All right, so let's see. Um, animals, alligator. Okay, so this animals. Let's see. I just want to check real quick if the little book that says animals, if it there's like a particular meaning to each animal. Hold on, one. Animals is last, and nostalgia is first. Is that what that? Uh, yeah. Well, we're gonna flip it around. Doesn't matter. So let's see, animals, it's at 41, because I didn't really even look at the book. Um, okay, so alligator, aggressive, threatening, contentious. So, so the uh, aspect of the alligator, you know, if you saw an alligator, you'd run. <laughs> so, so alligator, oh, look at the alpaca. The alpaca's supposed to be soft and sweet, look how cute. Anteater. Uh, I don't know what I'd consider an anteater, but armadillo. Uh, they're happy, like to roll around. Those are the LOLs there. Baboon in the computer. 
<laughs> Looks like the baboon is doing their makeup. <laughs> oh my God, funny. Bear, oh, how cute. He's... Okay, so each card, the animal, so each one has a different backing. Is that how it is? Oh, they do. So each one has different backing depending on their um, suit, I guess you'd call it. Bison. Cat. The cards are decent, actually. Shockingly. I mean, they're going to get beat up pretty quick if you use them a lot, but... You know, for a little, um, what would you call it, a themed deck like this? Or, I want to say gimmicky, because that's really what it is. It's actually not bad. Um, Flamingo. Actually, let's hold that one back. Fox. Gazelle. Giraffe. Otter. How oh, cute. Oh my god. Too sweet. I love it. Peacock. And Peacock, I always think like confidence and almost conceited and just very like, here I am. This is who I am. Love it or leave it. <laughs> Oops. Um, so that's Peacock. Hold on. I gotta move the camera a little bit back. I have it in a weird spot because it's hooked up to the, um, the charger. And for some reason, with this new phone, my charger is really, uh, the cord is really, really short. So it's kind of a pain. So, penguin, rhinoceros. So I'm guessing there's 25 cards per suit. That would make sense. Sea turtle. And one of them is colors. You're going to have 25 colors. That'll be different. Shark. Now, these cards, I can already tell you right off, they're going to be, to me, a little difficult to use because of the fact that it's just saying the name of the animal let me see these other ones um some of the other ones are easy and some other like the animal ones are going to be hard for me and there's if they're only using like i'll show you here in the book if they're only using a couple of words her description, that's it. That's all you get for the description there. I hope you can see that okay. If you're only using that, you could have put that right on the cards. So whoever did this, they didn't think that through. They kind of just... And like I said, it is kind of gimmicky, but they could have been very, very useful um, with that. So I just feel that that right there... I mean, you could write it in if you really wanted to. Am I going to sit there writing every single thing in? No. Nope. But for seven bucks, eh, you're not the end of the world. That's for sure. So, uh, what was that one? The sloth. I love sloths. I love sloths. Squirrel. Oh my god, I see myself as a little squirrel. It's funny. It's funny that it's sloth and squirrel because when I was a kid in school and stuff, I was considered lazy and slow, blah, blah, blah. You know, some people can be really cruel, especially teachers. And actually, I'm more the squirrel. I'm more like all over the place, doing this, doing that. It's That's more my energy there. But whatever. That's funny that they're together. <laughs> Toad. Oh, unicorn. I love unicorns. Walrus. How cute. Yeah, they definitely, instead of putting animals there, because I mean, clearly we know it's animals, they could have put descriptive words. It would have been... It would have been an excellent, excellent deck. Right now, from what I'm seeing, it's okay. You know, it's all right, but mm, I don't know. All right, so now we're going from animals to environment. So we have Aurora, Aurora Borealis. Let's hold that one back. We'll see what that one means. Canyon. And this is the back of this one. This The backs are really cute. I like it. Caverns with the bats there. Cliff. Clouds, coral reef, oh, with the plastic, we don't want that. We want to get rid of that. Desert, eclipse, forest. Now, these are small. I'm, I'm assuming you can tell that they're teeny tiny. Look, even I can hold them super easy. They're, they're smaller than a normal deck of playing cards. Um, galaxy. 
Grasslands, Lake, Mirage, Prairie, and this says yes. So let's see what that yes means. If it means anything, if it was just thrown in there. Let me bring this down a little tiny bit here. Move it over. Try to catch it all in here. Rainforest, Ripple, River. See, when I looked at that, at first I thought it was a snake. I don't think we saw a snake in the animals. Well, I can't remember for sure. Might have. Shore. Snowstorm. Sunrise. Thunder. Tornado. Oh my God, fail. See if they had done that with all the other ones, it would have been perfect. This just... Mm, it's it's a great idea. I love the idea of it. I just think it's really lacking in uh, execution here. Volcano. Waterfall. Is that two or one? Waves. Active online green. Okay, so we've gone... I'm sorry. <laughs> So that's the end of the environment. Now we're going into colors. This is nice back. I love that. I love rainbows anyway. So let me just fix this so there's more room. This is going to be a quick video today, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so active online green. <laughs> amethyst. Oh, amethyst is not a color though, is it? It's a, I know it's a crystal. Bubble gum's not okay. Whatever, whatever they call it, bubble gum. Buzzfeed yellow. Chicken nugget. This is colors. Wouldn't that be brown or tan? Okay, cold brew. Ooh, I love. I love coffee. Mm -hmm. Confetti rainbow. You know what? I'm gonna hold out that chicken nugget one because that's just. Throwing me way, 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 way off there. Confetti rainbow. Corporate blue. Delivery brown. Double tap pink. Eggplant. Grandma mauve. See, they're the same color though. Just about. I don't know. I don't know what this means. Okay, mac and cheese. Okay, this is not, this here is not colors. This is things, okay? Mostly it is things. Minimalist white, now that is a color. Money green. Notification red. Peach. Pickle. Pineapple. Pumpkin spice. Sand, shadow, sleek black, verified blue, wine, another purple color. Okay. I, although I didn't see purple in there. Did I see purple? I don't, I don't think I even saw purple, but I don't remember anymore. All right. Uh, that part right there, um, eh, I'm, I don't think it really works. Okay, these are nostalgia. So these, I guess, go back into like the 80s and stuff, guys. I know I'm gonna like this part, okay? So, <laughs> arcades, ball pits, CDs and DVDs. That was long past my childhood. Crazy patterns, developing photos, Dial up, flip phones, God, I remember those, fortune tellers, remember these, I still know how to make that, fun cereals, fun shaped nuggets, here we go again with the nuggets, I got this thing with the nuggets, huh, gadgets, gel pens, Hiding in the clothes rack. Oh my God, my kids used to do that. I don't know if I ever did it as a kid, but my kids definitely used to do that. 
mall. Um, I'm sorry, hanging out at the mall. Mixtapes. I never did that, but my husband did. Mood rings. Never had one. Always wanted one. MP3 downloads. We still do that, so... Hi, I'm back. I have to actually stop the video for a second. I have to go take care of something really quick. I love this new phone because I'm actually able to stop videos, um, pause videos in the middle of them, whereas I couldn't do it with my iPhone. An iPhone, this is, I guess I haven't found an iPhone yet that has that option. You know, that needs to be um, added to their, to their uh, what do you call it, options. I really think... If I had had that option, I probably would have stayed with the iPhone, but I like this camera. Ain't gonna lie. All right, so passing notes. Remember that? Now, I don't know what this has to do with anything because, I don't know, Saturday morning cartoons. Let's see what that one has to do with anything. Scratch and sniff stickers. I remember those. Snake game. I remember my husband playing this on his phone. I never did. Couldn't be bothered. Snap bracelets. Sticker earrings. Never had those. VHS, oh boy, we still have some. <laughs> and word art. Don't even know really what that is. All right, so we have these four suits or sections. And let's see. Let's see what the flamingo is. Or oh, actually, you know what? Let's start with the nostalgia because that's the beginning. Okay. Let's go to fun shaped nugget and see what the fun shaped nu shape nugget means. I have a feeling this is just going to be one of those decks that's just cute to have, but that's about it. So fun shaped nuggets, playful, fanciful, imaginative. Okay. Honestly, that makes sense, but because it's not on here, I'm like, I don't know how I would even read that. I'm not, I'm intuitive to a degree, but that's just kind of throwing me off. All right, so Fun Ship Nuggets. This one here is Saturday morning cartoons. I'm going to guess beckons back to childhood or something. Let's see, maybe there's a rhyme or reason to this. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, da -da, Saturday morning cartoon, carefree, easygoing, laid back. I guess, uh, word art, I, that was the last one we did, creative, innovative, resourceful. It makes sense when you look at it, like mood ring here is wavering, indecisive, and hesitant. It would have been, honestly, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. If those words were on there, I would be able to use this deck and I would love to use this deck, but because those words aren't, aren't on there, I don't think I'm going to use this deck. If I use it, it'll be very um, sporadically. It might just be something like if the mood calls me, but it'll it's going to be hard. All right, so let's see. The colors, colors ones is really, really, it makes zero sense to me. I don't understand how chicken nuggets is colored. Let's go. Where's the colors? Here we go. Chicken nugget. Um, okay. Im Oops. Immature, childish, youthful. Okay. Cold brew, energetic, vigorous, active. Um, let's see. What do we got here? There's another one I saw that I'm like, oh, no, it was in this page. Uh, mac and cheese, cheesy, familiar, sappy. All right. Like I said, it makes sense when you're reading it out, but because it's not on there, uh, you know what? I'm, you know, it was a seven dollar deck. Maybe I will write on. <laughs> That'll be the first deck I've written on <laughs> ever. But maybe I will if I want to uh, actually try using it because I think it's an adorable deck. It's an adorable deck, but they missed the mark on that part there. I mean, they used all that color. They could have used some more words. Uh, so, so it wasn't about the printing, that's for sure. Let's see. Uh, environment. Uh, prairie. Is that what I did? Prairie, yeah. Let's see what prairie is. Prairie. Open opportunity reveal. So it's that's what that is and aurora borealis that was the first one unique limited rare see it makes sense 
canyon, deep, profound, complex, caverns, hidden, private, uh, undisclosed, cliff, on the edge, agitate, anxious. All this makes sense. The, the Whoever did this part did a fantastic job. And as a matter of fact, I don't even think there is a... Um, it's put up by Running Press doc, runningpress.com. Um, but it doesn't... I don't think it has an author, does it? Uh, I don't see an author at all on this. So whoever did this did a great job as far as this part. The book with the words, the descriptive words, it's perfect. The cards, not so much. All right, let's see. Flamingo. That's animals, which is in the back here. Flamingo. All right. Oh, sorry. Flamingo starts with an F. Okay, outgoing, flamboyant, over the top. And honestly, that's kind of how I see the peacock. So let's see what, oh, show off, boast, brag. <laughs> same, almost the same thing. Um, I mean, I might be able to like read the animals pretty well. You know, bees, busy. Let's see what, what um, the sloth is. It's going to be lazy, right? Sloth, relax, reserved, lazy, of course. And a squirrel. Um, hoard, gather, stash. Well, I kind of do hoard some things like decks, but more than more, it's I always see them out there busy, 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 and that's how I tend to be very busy. Unicorn, magic, unique, rare. Okay, so that's I'm kind of disappointed. I really wanted to love it, but you know what? It's like I said, it's not the end of the world. I can try using it and see how what I get out of it. Um, will I get anything? I don't know. I mean, it's a, such a cute little deck. Let's see. Let's put this. Let's just do it like this. It's it's. I mean, there's a hundred cards here. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could write on every single card. Like, I would use some sort of like um, soft pen. So it wouldn't like go through, like I wouldn't use a ballpoint on that, but there are all kinds of uh, permanent markers. They have thin permanent markers that would work well on this. And then you can use it and you could easily, um, no, the flamingo keeps coming out at me. <laughs> you can easily shuffle these cards. I mean, it's gonna take a while to shuffle them well because they wanna come out in sections. I'm noticing that because they're put together in sections. So let's see if I can do it like this. She worked. That actually worked okay. I do like the black edges. I think they're pretty. They're not glittery or anything. It's just like they're colored. And like I said, the, the cardstock isn't bad, you know, surprisingly. It's very similar to most Hay House decks right now, where they're not really shiny. They have a little bit of shine to them, but it's it's minimal. And it's very similar to that. And they do, they shuffle night. They're fun. This is a one of those decks you can almost do it just to relax because it's small enough where you could just shuffle and have fun with it, you know. Let's see if we get anything out of this one. I am going to pull a card on this one. I'll probably have to read out of the book. Well, let me see if, no, we're not doing that. Well, actually, maybe we'll do Ant Eater. We'll do Ant Eater because that one I was curious about, and we'll do mixtapes. Ant Eater mixtapes. Let's see, a little that popped out here. <laughs> we'll do Grandma Moth. All right, what do we got going on here? Ant Eater mixtapes and Grandma Moth. Okay, I'm a grandma, I like moth mixtapes. That's something. Uh, my husband used to love to do, but you know what? I'm not getting anything as far as um, uh, in, intuitively right now. It's just, it's, like I said, this is throwing me off. So anteater, opportunity, crafty, greedy, okay? And mixtapes, mixtapes, where are they? Blend, infuse, incorporate. Opportunity, crafty, greedy, blend, infuse, incorporate, and grandma moth. 
That's on the colors. That cracks me up. Grandma Moth. Uh, and that should be actually Comfort Loving. Comfort Caring Loving. So, honestly, <laughs> I don't know how these guys are like, uh, this is comforting, this is being creative, and this could be like um, taking too much of something. And I, I'm honestly, I'm not connecting the dots right now. I don't know why. My brain is not connecting, but let's see. Opportunity, mixtapes, the opportunity, I'm sorry. Opportunity, crafty, and greed, crafty. Well, grandma's a crafty. I can be crafty, that's for sure. I think it means crafty in the other sense where you're up to no good, that kind of crafty. Um, Mixed tapes. Let's see what that one was again. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time remembering because, you know, old. Blend Infuse Incorporate Opportunity. I guess inco Incorporate Opportunities. Um, to actually incorporate opportunities to... Um, Take care of yourself and be and try to um, get comfortable. Like get uh, put yourself in a place where you're you're in a comfortable situation. Like either you have to, you know for a bath or where you're just it comforting. I'm sorry, not comfortable, a comforting situation. Um, do something for yourself that's comforting. Take that opportunity to do that and. Um, Honestly, be a little greedy with your time. Be a little greedy with your time for yourself because it's okay to do that and to spend some time just, you know, being and loving yourself like your grandma would love you because, you know, nobody loves kids like their grandmas, okay? And take that opportunity if you can this weekend because I'm, I'm doing this on a weekend, but whenever you, whenever you see this, to take some time out for yourself and be be honestly greedy with your own time for yourself. Okay, so that's my little reading that's come to me, which is very small, <laughs> but um, I think we could all use a little time of uh, taking comfort in it and taking care of ourselves. All right, guys, listen, thank you for watching this. You know what, it's a cheap deck. If you like it, you can easily get it. It's 13 bucks at Amazon. You can probably get it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, wherever I got it, but you know what? If you don't like it, it's okay, because I'm not sold on it either. If there were words with you, I would have absolutely loved it, but they're not, so it's kind of like, eh, it's okay. So, blessings and thank you. Have a great day, and take good care of yourselves.